Welcome back to the channel. And yeah, she a look clean though. She ain't the you know, I just did like a quick wipe down, a little quick tire rub in, you know, it, it it's gonna rain, you know, like my wife said next in the last video. It's gonna rain tomorrow through Thursday again, like it did last week. So, you know, I just did a quick little wipe down and uh and stuff so i just did i just did something quick you know i had to get that mud off like that mud man it, it looked like a whole totally different car now you know um i just had to go ahead and get that mud off you know because i wasn't gonna wash it at first because while i park had it be muddy and um but while i drive while i've been driving that you know that dried up, all that shit dried up much quicker than what i thought because last time it didn't dry up that quick so uh Yeah, I told my wife today. I said we get back to the house. I said I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wash it, just do like a quick wash. She said, "Yeah, you should." She said, "Look how horrible this motherfucker look." And you know we end up getting ourselves dirtied up. You know, just getting in or out of the car, or getting the baby out in or out of the car. So I just did like quick little wipe down. You know, I didn't do my best job. You know, y'all know my best work. You know, especially street cruiser one on one. You, you always point it out. You be like, man, them, them tires shining, you know, stuff like that. I didn't do all that today. I wasn't putting in all the effort because it's going to rain again, four days straight again. So, now, if it was going to be four days dry, then that would have been a different story. I would have probably just now been wrapping up as the sun going down. I would have probably just now been wrapping it up. You know, would have, would have spent extra time wiping the car, you know, cleaning the windows, shining the tires up. I would have spent extra time doing everything, but uh, that wasn't the case today. And like I said in the previous video earlier today, um, 80, 90%, I'm sure my next bag going to be a Chevy. So, you know, uh, I'm going to flip back over to Chevy, but I'm going to get me another Crown Vic later on down the road. So... You know, you don't have to worry about that, you know. Uh, yeah, so that that's how it's gonna be, you know. I, I think I, I think I wanna go ahead and grab me something else, some you know that I haven't officially owned and drove and had fun with, so yeah. But you know, I'll let you know when this one up for sale, but when I do sell it, all I want is a thousand dollars. I'm a thousand firm on it, you know. Uh y'all already know what it got, new ring. Uh trans been worked on. I saw I did trans swap. Just got a leak another leak. I got I didn't wasn't able to get to that leak this weekend. I've been busy all weekend. So I wasn't able to get up under there. So, uh, other than that, the trans is fine. I found out, oh yeah, I, that's another thing I forgot to mention. I take it to the trans shop, they said the trans was fine. You know, uh, it's just that when that leak, when all the trans fluid leak out, that's what make, that's why the trans slips. There's nothing wrong with the trans, but, you know, uh, you know, the car is rusty underneath. No, so, but I know I know it's a, it's a few guys on the 